Hi, please help us to stop SOGI and protect children. My name is Carrie Simpson. I'm a longtime parental rights activist and now executive director for Culture Guard. We need your help. Parents, grandparents, and common sense thinking Canadians must unite across this nation. Our rights are being trampled and our ability to protect our children obliterated. As I speak, a dangerous agenda called SOGI is being introduced into all schools. The anti-parent, anti-family forces that threaten our children and our values compel us to unite and fight. The SOGI agenda is here and it must be stopped. What is SOGI? SOGI stands for Sexual Orientation Gender Identity. SOGI is dangerous. It's a hedonistic political agenda. SOGI 123 lesson plans prey on vulnerable children by using well-known strategic brainwashing tactics to undermine each child's sense of identity and security. Then it reprograms them with a hedonistic, less driven, sex positive, anti heteronormative belief system that undermines parental authority and instills a values neutral system where there is no right or wrong. SOGI 123 replaces logic and critical thinking with decision making based on feelings and emotion. SOGI adherents embrace delusion over fact. SOGI is a tool for social deconstruction. SOGI 123 starts targeting four and five year olds with lesson plans full of subtle misdirection for the children. SOGI directs kindergarten teachers not to refer to students as boys or girls because to do so would affix societal stereotyping. The words mom and dad are considered vile references that have now been banned from the classroom. Instead, teachers are to use the words guardian or adult when referring to caregivers. Teachers are told to expose children to political views on sexual orientation and gender identity that are based in propaganda, not science. Picture books normalizing homosexual relationships and gender dysphoria are to be accessible at all times. Books that make parents look stupid and easily bullied by their children. The next step is to break down a child's sense of identity. Teachers are instructed to tell children that their birth sex is based only on external body parts that might be different from how they want to identify. Boys can be girls if that's what they want and girls can now be boys or both or even somewhere in between. As children progress through grade levels from kindergarten to grade 12, the emphasis turns into making them, the students, into soji warriors. They're required to study how to be a social justice warrior, forced to study a propagandist version of homosexual history, and taught a common language as defined by the sex activists. Legal action has been initiated to stop the soji agenda in schools across Canada, and your help is needed. We must stop the abuse of children and our schools. Please give generously. $100,000 is needed right now to commence legal action against the Ministry of Education and local school boards. We need to cover legal fees, expert witnesses, costs, and other related court expenses. Every child in every grade is targeted. My phone and inbox have been flooded by parents and grandparents looking for help. One grandfather called to inform me that his four-year-old granddaughter told him she can be a boy if she wants to. She attends a progressive daycare. This is child abuse. An urgent email was sent to me on the second day of school stating, as the mom wrote, this happened at an elementary school in Richmond on the second day of school. There was a school-wide assembly announcing that a grade five boy had made the decision with full support from his parents to transition to a girl. He has a girl's name now, the principal told the whole school to support and respect her. Then they started to have Soji teaching lessons. The email goes on to say my friend has a grade six daughter in that school. This mom was very concerned because her daughter seems to believe Soji is something innate and could happen to her. This is child abuse. Then there was the Soji loving father spewing hate and the typical rhetoric at me over the phone. He informed me how happy he was that his daughter had transitioned and he now has a son. He admitted that he paid for this young teenage daughter to have her breasts removed. He then went on to tell me how the family had gone through a dysfunctional divorce and many other factors knowing to contribute to kids being messed up. But he says he trusted the professionals. When I asked him if he had read the Soji lesson plans, he said no. This child will pay the price for this decision. This is child abuse. 
Seven million young vulnerable Canadians have been targeted and need your help. As I speak, children are being given chemical puberty blockers that will stunt their growth and cross-sex hormones that will render them sterile for life. Some will have irreversible surgery to remove perfectly healthy body parts. That's child abuse. Meanwhile, the preponderance of children will have been programmed to believe that this kind of child abuse is normal. Children from unstable homes will crave the attention given to those that transition and buy into the celebration. Others will fall victim to the brainwashing and engage in playing out transgenderism. That too is child abuse. And who benefits? The sex activists who want to overturn our culture and multiply access to a hedonistic, lust-focused society? Or the small handful of doctors who are getting rich by pursuing this new, unverified branch of medicine? And Big Pharma, the makers of the dangerous drugs being prescribed for these poor children? Who need care and comfort, not quack treatments? This is insanity and it must be stopped. Tell your friends. Get informed. United, we will stop Soji. Please give generously. Our children need to be protected and you can make that happen.